Hey guys, it's Jenny Wallach with the Wallach Group, Keller Williams Realty in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa looks good on you, and we love promoting all the great things that Tulsa has to offer, including our neighbors who are doing so much good for our community. Hey, Mark Delaney, nice to meet you and chat with you. How are you today? I am great, Jenny. Thanks for having me on today. You bet. You know, you stood out to me on Facebook. You had mentioned that you have what's called a purpose mastermind. Yeah. And of course, if anyone knows me, they know that I'm all into that too. So that was intriguing. I'd love for you to share with everyone. What is that all about? Yeah. Our, our, our mission is it, 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 that drives us is that everyone's life has great purpose, but not only do they have purpose, but we can clearly know it and boldly pursue it. <laughs> I think the thought that our life has great purpose is wonderful, but also scary because then we say, well, my life has purpose, but what is it? And it feels like too hard of a question to answer. The purpose mastermind basically walks people through a process where they can clearly answer it and look at their life and be fired up and get after it. And so that's, it's, it, it's all it is. It's a simple, but powerful process. People oftentimes say it's so simple, but it's powerful because it's, it's counterintuitive yeah. because our, our world and our culture tells us that this is how I must chase after life. And uh, we get confused so quickly. So we just, we enjoy helping people gain quick clarity on life to pursue their purpose boldly. Well, clearly this is part of your purpose to share, to share this with others. How did that come to be that you discovered this was your calling? You know, I don't really look at it that way, to be honest with you. And if you went through the mastermind, it would make sense. I, uh, I just want to help people. And it doesn't matter to me how I do that. I want to help people. And this is something like my son, who's uh, one of my sons is 26. He said, Dad, you've just done this your whole life, just in different ways. And, and he's probably right that that's pretty much always been my heartbeat is, is if I could just walk around and be a human uh, defibrillator and just awaken the lives of people. I, I often say it like this. I, I think that people tend to live their lives like in a dark room. And in that room are the answers they need, but all they can do is feel them. They can't see them. They can't read the directions. So they, they don't know how to utilize them. And, and in that dark room is a mirror that if they could look at it, they could clearly have a reflection and kind of see, okay, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. But the problem is the room is dark. And if I can just walk down the hallways of life and reach my hand in and flip on light switches and keep on going, that's what I want to do. And that's kind of what this Purpose Mastermind does. It's just, it, it's just turning on the light switch so people can go, oh, like this is, this is who I am and this is what I can do. Yes, <laughs> that's who you are and that's what you can do. And people just get, the, it, it fires them up. It just causes life change. Because when the light comes on, you see everything. Yeah. Answers are right there. It, life is not rocket science. It's, it's, life essentially is very simple. But when it's dark, it gets very complex. And when I get, when life is complex, I and everyone else, we get confused. But when life is simple, life can be powerful. So this is just outgrown of our life. I think we've always done it, and this is a new way we're doing it. Now, you shared with me there are some steps that you go through when someone joins you in the, in the mastermind. What yeah, yeah. There's, it's only three meetings. <laughs> Actually, we're moving to four because there's just too much material to cram into, th into three. But the first meeting, we just talk about the four confusing mindsets that we tend to believe they sound right, feel right. Um, people even applaud you for thinking that way, but it's actually a, a trap. For instance, one of the confusing mindsets is my job is my purpose. Yeah. And that sounds right. It feels right. And when you're as a, when you're a kid growing up through the ranks of school, every question is, what are you going to do with your life? And the answer is it's supposed to be an occupation. Yeah. And it's really just, it's really a trap in, in several ways. It's a trap, but I, I like to think of, imagine a little baby that's, uh, that's born and everyone, the neighbors or relatives come around that baby and we're all just so 
blessed by this new birth of a child. And if you can imagine someone looking at that baby and saying, wow, how precious. Imagine what you could do with your life. Now I want you to imagine everyone in the room beginning to say an occupation. To limit the power and, and majesty and, and, and beauty of a human life and to answer the question, what could you be with an occupation is incredib incred incredibly limiting and also incredibly confusing. Because think about the high school senior that for years, he feels like he's supposed to answer what's my occupation. And the, answer, and the options are endless. And then the, the thought is, what is the thing I'm supposed to do? That's another confusing thought. There's one thing I'm supposed to do with my life and I have to figure it out. Imagine looking at life like that when you're 18 years old. That's why so many are confused and lost for so long. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so they're gonna figure out that you have the first, uh, first questions that you're gonna ask them. And then was there another one as well? Yeah, yeah. The, fir the first meeting, there's four confusing mindsets. We just kick them to the curb. Yeah. We replace, we replace the confusing mindsets with empowering mindsets. And go. then the second meeting, we talk about the three eternal mindsets that have always worked, that have always worked in life, mm -hmm. that really relieve the pressure of, in, of confusion and anxiety and give us these three mindsets that, that really give us an, an identity that is safe for the journey. And then the third week, we come back and uh, everyone says their purpose. And I know it sounds like a gimmick. It's yeah. not. Right. I mean, here's the thing. I just talked to someone who just finished this mastermind or the second week. And I, I talked to them and they said, well, it just feels like it can't be this, it can't be this quick and easy, can it? I'm like, here's the danger. The danger is it can't be this quick and easy. What we, what we end up doing is we swing, swing to the other side of it and we make it a lifelong struggle. Will I ever know my purpose? I'm missing it. I think I'm missing it. And so it can be quick and easy, or we can spend a lifetime thinking we're missing it and that we can't know it. Now, that's the option. Yeah. I say it's quick and easy and it's powerful. It and, is so powerful knowing why we're here, why we do what we do, what oh. our purpose is. So you um, have been offering this for young adults or school, high school students. What's been going on with that? Yeah, you know, we do this with all ages of people. We do it with married couples and and uh, and men's groups, women's groups, and then and then like high school seniors and college students. And this season, we've been doing that at, for free. Uh, there's some businesses that have sponsored us to enable us to do this at no cost for these students. And I gotta tell you, when students go through this, the most common thing we hear from these young people is a comment just like this. I feel like a car has been lifted off my chest. Yeah. One student said an elephant, <laughs> but it's the same thing. They're heavy. <laughs> because these young people, we tell them their whole life, you can be anything when you grow up. Yeah. And that's exciting until it's time for you to choose one and you go, oh my gosh, yeah. anything, there's a lot of choices there. How do I choose the one? And so they feel like, you know, an 18 year old senior, he can feel like he's living in a room and there's 100 doors in that room and he has to choose the right one. Yeah. And if he doesn't, his life is going to be second rate. It's not going to work, but I got to choose that one. There yeah. was a, a high school senior went through this a couple of months ago and he came for the first meeting and he said, whenever someone asks me what I'm going to do, after I graduate, he said, I just look at my watch and watch my heart rate go crazy. He literally ended up going to the emergency room because of his heart rate. He just trouble sleeping, just the anxiety about it. In that very first meeting, I, I asked him, I said, who do you talk to about this? And of course his answer was nobody. Right. Now he was, <laughs> He was getting lots of information when he went to school every day, but these kind of conversations to help him just understand who he is yeah. and how he can fit in the world, 
that's not happening. So we had that one conversation. This, I'm going to tell you, this is not a gimmick. This is what happened. I believe you. <laughs> we, we walked through this, this first conversation. The second week he came back and I said, okay, do you have any life updates? And he said, yeah. He said, the very next day I went to the counselor's office. This is before the quarantine. He said, I went to the counselor's office and I got signed up for concurrent enrollment and started a college class while I'm in high school the next day. And he said, I went to another counselor's office and I got signed up for a local community college that I'm gonna do after I graduate. And he said, he said, uh, he said, I feel like I'm free. I feel like I'm free. Another young man in that same group was a young man who uh, he was 19. He'd been out of high school for two years. He was just working in a factory every day, living at home, just kind of existing. Mm -hmm. And he just, we, didn't, we don't talk about money in this mastermind. That's not the point of it. Right. But he shot, he, he shot me a text about a month after we started. So in one month's time, he said, thank you. Since we started the mastermind, I've saved $2,000. And it's because he looked at his life differently. He looked at himself differently. And that's often, it goes back to the light switch illustration. When yeah. the light comes on for a person, we just do things differently. Yeah. When it's dark, we're confused, we're stifled, we don't know what to do. But when the light comes on, things can, can so dramatically change. So there's just so many stories just like that with young people that really yeah. fired me up. I love all this. It fires me up too. I want to help spread the message with that same as well. That's important to me and, and my team here. And uh, we are just so grateful that there are others out there who are spreading goodness like this. So thank you for doing this yep. and empowering and enlightening others just to think differently and remove those negative thoughts that may be eating them up inside. So yep. how can uh, people find out a little bit more about what you guys do. Yeah, the website is markdelaney.me. And if, if people go there, they can see a link for the Purpose Mastermind. There's some information about it and they can see courses they can jump into for men, women, uh, couples, and uh, for students. So thank absolutely. You. Thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Appreciate you so much. We're going to keep doing it. You keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. You bet. Well, if you guys need anything from me, let me know. Otherwise, have an amazing day. Talk to you later. Bye.